Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this little gift card holder or a little love note card holder that I created using my Big Shot. Here are the products you need to gather together at home to make this project too. I used my Big Shot. I used my two extended cutting pads. I also used my platform and my two standard cutting pads, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then I used my Petite Pocket Extra Long Die. I used, well, I used some Cherry Cobbler Quilted Ribbon, but since that is no longer available, I would recommend you replace it with the Cherry Cobbler um, Ribbon. It's the Scallop Dots Ribbon, which I think is really cute. For cardstock, I use Blushing Bride. You want one 12 by 12 piece for this. I used Cherry Cobbler and I used Confetti White cardstock. I don't use much of this with my videos, but it's a wonderful cardstock. It adds a touch of class to any project. I use my Blushing Bride ink and my Cherry Cobbler ink. Along with my elegant bouquet embossing folder, I used my platform and my two standard cutting pads. I used my one inch circle punch. I used Mix Bunch stamp set, and along with that, I used my blossom punch. These are featured in the Occasions mini catalog, and all Occasions mini catalog products are going to retire April 30th. So if you want to place an order for anything in the Occasions Mini, you better do so by then. I use my itty bitty punch pack and I use this little flower punch. Whoops! I use my metallic brads. I use my Stampin' Dimensionals and my sticky strip and my snail adhesive. I used my crocodile. I used my handheld 1 16th inch hole punch and I use clear block D. All right, so let me clear some of these things out of my way and I'll show you what I did. The first thing I did was I cut three pockets. The nice thing about one 12 by 12 sheet is you can cut all three pockets from the one sheet. You want to cut it 12 inches by 4 inches. You've got your bottom extended cutting pad, your die, your petite pocket pie, die, your card stock, and then your top extended cutting pad. And then you want to just run it through the big shot. And that cuts out one of the pockets. It also has score lines on it. So after I got all three pockets cut out and assembled, you've got your score lines like so. And what you want to do is put some snail adhesive or some sticky strip. If you're going to use sticky strip, I would use it on this part of the pocket because it's not, it sort of angles in a little bit. So you want to put your three pockets together like this. And then what I did was I brought in my platform, my elegant bouquet textured impressions embossing folder and my two standard cutting pads and I embossed all three pockets. So that's the first thing that you want to do. Then after you've got all three pockets organized and embossed and all ready to go put together, then what you want to do is you want to cut off on one of the pockets, one of the pockets you leave just as it is. The second pocket you cut off at the score line, this tab, and the third pocket you cut halfway and then what you do is you put all three pockets together and you can see that by doing that it staggers their openings. So I've got my three pockets together. I punched two holes in it at the bottom. I've, I've held all three of them together using my crocodile, which punches those two holes effortlessly. And then you want to tie some ribbon in it to hold it as it uh, together. And then for each pocket I created using my confetti white cardstock a little handle and I used a, a decorative brad or a um, metallic brad and the punch pack to create that on all three of them. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you that I also used a stamp set and my word window punch 
to create this image here and I used my mixed bunch stamp set to create the flower and my blossom punch to cut it out and my one inch punch and then I put a brad through it the same kind of brad as I did for the pocket inserts and then I put the flower on top using a um, Stampin' Dimensional. The stamp set that I got the Just For You phrase from is called Just Believe and I'll have more information about that on my blog. So you can put some love notes inside, you could put some coupons inside, you could attach some earrings inside. You can do whatever you want for your petite pocket collection. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements for this project, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, you can subscribe to my customer newsletters. It's free to do so, and I send out a couple of newsletters each month. You can place an order. You can ask me a question. You can look through lots of other sample ideas, or you can join one of my online clubs. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.